G'day guys, um, my name is Bruce Garrard and on Westfit today we're talking to two of the members of the Injustice Crew team. Is that the right team name for you guys? Yes, um, it was Injustice Crew, we ended up being Injustice CrossFit over at the Games. So the Injustice CrossFit team who have just returned back from the CrossFit Games over in Madison in the US. So my first question would be around the training and preparation that you did, like what does training look like in comparison between regionals and then that ramp up to, to the games? Um, we, we still did a lot of our individual based training um, and we had like our, our three to four sessions a week as a, as a team, um, early mornings, lots of early mornings um, and, and just more trying to get out of the gym as well. So obviously you, you look at the stuff that goes on at the games compared to regionals. Um, running, swimming, just a lot more odd objects stop type events, so yeah. Does the volume change in what you're doing or is it just different kind of technique and, and like more, as you say more different like objects to be prepared for that sort of stuff? Yeah, the, the volume didn't change even um, leading up to, so we, we flew out like two weeks early so we were still training pretty hard up until the, like the time we left. Um, and you, you're still going to get a little bit fitter, but it's just more about trying to get a little bit more efficient as a team, yep. as a whole. Yeah. Yeah, those are the things I noticed as well. Um, we did, yeah, a lot more, a lot more running um, that than had appeared in our program uh, prior to that point. A lot more odd object stuff, which I loved, <laughs> just getting outdoors and uh, flipping tires outside and going for little bike rides. We weren't sure if we were going to see a, a bike at the games for the teams. In the end, we didn't, but it was a cool element. Of, of training. <laughs> so, so what does an average day in that sort of run up look like? Like what time are you getting up? What time are you eating? How many times are you training? That sort of... So we're training twice a day um, at five o'clock in the morning. That's just the, the only time that we could really get everyone together. Um, it was either five o'clock in the morning or 3.30 in the afternoon or like six, six o'clock at night. Pretty much for like the three times we'll try to train, but we all train twice a day. Um, with like active recovery days, so even our, our rest days were, were recovery days where we would go for a hike up, up through the hills or something. Um, yeah, so it was pretty, pretty full on. And are you only training, or were you only training as a team, or are you training as individuals as well? Still did our individual stuff, so we trained like four, four sessions a week as a team, and the rest was just our individual stuff to, to make sure that we stayed fit. The, the team side of things, I don't think you can really sustain it your fitness levels just working on the team stuff because there's a lot of rest rest to work ratio so it was good to um to still push and make sure that you were working on your weaknesses as well was there anything that you learned at regionals as a team that you needed to implement going forward into the games uh, no we were yeah. perfect no no we were far from perfect but i i think going into regionals we we had a good plan and we were not really, like our goal was to make it to the game. So we, we were really focused on making sure that we weren't getting sidetracked and, and we were warming up properly. We were debriefing after every workout, then we were setting, getting focused for the next one. All our treatment, um, so we had Andrew come across with us. Um, everything was like, had its place and we, we were there to, to get a job done really. Um, going to, to the games, I thought we still had that, that set purpose, but it's, it was a, a pretty crazy experience. So I think to, to make it there, we, we still wanted to make sure that we, we, we got a, a chance to enjoy it as well. <laughs> as um, with Still that little bit of pressure, but not, not as much, if that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. do you feel, because I guess when I've, I've listened to other interviews, some people have spoken about they, they train for regionals, then they start training for the game. So with that, do you mean that you were training always for the games? Definitely. Regionals happen to be in the way or like... Um, was there like regionals are still the first step. So yeah. we're yeah. not going to say that we were we were guaranteed a spot, yeah. but our, our main goal was to, to make the games. We weren't going to regionals just to, to place. We wanted to win it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we didn't feel like we... we didn't behave as though we had it in the bag, so to speak. Um, we definitely treated regionals as um, a big competition, which it was. It was you know, the stepping stone to the games. Um, so we, we had to succeed. We had to perform well in that arena in order to get to that next stage. So yeah, there was a definite difference in the way we approached our training. 
for regionals and then for the game. As ever, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed today's content, please do give it a like, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I want to thank the guys from Injustice for their time in answering the questions. And as ever, I'll see you in the next video.